Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class Thomas Enochian, and this is the mallet portion of our video. This section will cover various techniques used on keyboard instruments. I will cover the five primary mallet instruments used in both concert band and orchestral repertoire, the marimba, xylophone, chimes, vibraphone, and bells. The marimba is the perfect instrument to start with. First, it has the largest octave range of any keyboard instrument, and second, it can be used to demonstrate both two and four mallet technique. And finally, since it is the largest of the keyboard instruments, you will find that it is much easier to transfer the skills discussed from a larger to a smaller keyboard instrument. Let's begin our marimba discussion with the understanding that you, the student, can read both treble and bass clef. If there is any doubt in your mind that you do not have this skill, please speak with your music director. And to the music directors watching, I strongly encourage you to teach your percussion students from a very early age the ability to read notes and rhythms. Remember that if you start training your percussion students from a very early age to become complete musicians, the results for you and your ensemble will be well worth the effort. The marimba is made of rosewood or synthetic bars and aluminum or brass resonators. The instrument has a range from four to five octaves. Since the sound we produce on all percussion instruments is a result of the mallet or stick we choose and the way we strike the instrument, let's begin with mallet selection. Most of our mallet choices for the marimba are going to consist of varying grades of yarn or rubber, and the shaft is generally either rattan or birch. Never use plastic or brass mallets on the marimba you will damage the bars. Once we have determined which mounts to use, let's discuss how to hold the mounts. The grip we use is similar to match grip on snare drum. We hold the mounts loosely between the thumb and first joint of the index finger to create our fulcrum. Let the other three fingers wrap around the mount lightly, not to inhibit the movement of the mount. Remember that everyone's hand and finger sizes are very different and you may find that you have to adjust your fulcrum to meet the needs of your hand. Face your palms downward and make sure that both your left and right hand have an identical grip. Although the keyboard grip is similar to snare drum, the striking response is very different. On snare drum, the tension of the head will allow the stick to rebound to its starting point. But on the keyboard, there is little to no rebound. In order to get the mallet back to the starting point, we must use our wrist. Since there is no rebound, wrist strokes are essential to great two mallet keyboard playing. 